Hi, and welcome to another shoe review here on Run Tall with Tim. I'm Tim, and today I'm sharing my thoughts on the New Balance 880 V11. Now these are a daily trainer that have a lot to offer, but before I get into it too far, I always like to demonstrate what it looks like to run in the shoes that I'm about to review for you. So let's do that, but then when we come back together, I'm gonna to take a real close look at the New Balance 880 V11. If you're new to the channel, I post running shoe reviews and comparisons on both Wednesday and Saturday mornings, and that's at 5 a.m. Standard Eastern Time here in the U.S. But I also like to post other videos related to running, but I'm never sure what day of the week that's going to be or even what time of day. So if you enjoy watching running shoe reviews and other videos related to running, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time that I upload new content. Now these are a neutral road shoe that I ordered true to size. They cost 130 US dollars. They came in at 10.1 ounces for men's size 9 on my scales or 285 grams. Now I'm going to start and talk about the fit and the feel first. Beginning up in the toe box, there's plenty of room to be able to splay your toes. I found that to be really comfortable. And then across the midsection, I was able to get a nice secure lockdown feeling across my midfoot. Although I did have to cinch the laces up pretty close together. And you can see just how close they are. This is pretty much right off my feet. And then back in the heel cup. I did feel locked in, nice and secure. I didn't have any issues with my heel slipping either up or down or side to side. So let's zoom in and we'll take a real close look at the upper to see what kind of material that they made this out of. And here you'll notice that they use a double jacquard mesh material. So it's really comfortable, it's soft to the touch. It's pretty stretchy up in the toe box. So if I grab a hold of the material here, you know, you can pull on it and you can see that there's a fair amount of stretch, but that's pretty much just in the toe box area where they have lots of perforations there. But then as you move your way around to the side of the shoe, it begins to lose that stretch. And then also on the midsection of the shoe, you can see that they have a, their New Balance logo as a plastic overlay and then a small plastic overlay there in the heel counter as well. So let's take a look at the eyelet chain now and see how you can get that nice snug locked in feeling across the midfoot that I spoke of a few minutes ago. And here you can see that, you know, it's a pretty simple design. There's no big wow factor here, but there doesn't need to be in order for it to do its job. You will see that they do have some plastic overlay just around the eyelets to give it a little extra durability so you don't have to worry about your laces pulling through or ripping out those eyelets. So this is a very classic, simple shoe, and this is reflected right here in the eyelet chain. 
Now they did include that extra eyelet in case you want to run with the runners not. I don't always do that, but it's nice to have that option should I want to. So let's turn and we'll take a look at the tongue now. Here you'll notice that it's not gusseted, although it does have that loop in case you want to run your laces through there to help keep it from migrating around. Now I didn't have any issues with that at all. It laid flat on my foot, was very comfortable. It is heavily padded. There's a lot of cushion there built into the tongue. Now with that double jacquard mesh material that they used on the upper and that thick material that they have on the tongue there. This shoe does run a little bit warm. So let's take a look at the padding around the heel collar and the tab of this shoe. And you can see that there's lots of it there. I often call this kind of the pillow style of padding because it sets up right at the top of the collar of the shoe. There's lots back here for your Achilles to rest in. I found it to be really comfortable. I didn't have any issues with hot spots or anything along those lines. And it creates a nice heel pocket for you to set in. Also on the tab of the shoe, they do feature a slight Achilles heel flare. Now this isn't overly done, but it is comfortable to run in. And they don't have a pull tab to help get your shoe on, but if you need a little assistance that way, you can always grab a hold of that slight Achilles heel flare to help get the job done. Let's turn and we'll look at the heel counter of the shoe and we'll see how much structure that they have back there to help hold your heel in place. And as I put it up on my shoulder and give it the pinch test to see how much resistance there is, there is a lot of resistance here. Now this is not a stable or not a stability shoe. It is a neutral road shoe, but it does have a few stabilizing features. And all of that material back in the heel counter is part of it. And then they also feature a, a heel clip, a plastic heel clip that comes around to about the start of the midsection of the shoe. And that just adds to the stable feeling that you get when you're running these shoes. New Balance also included a removable insole. I always appreciate that. It's nice to be able to pull those out, clean them up, put them back in so you're good to go the next time you want to run. And these are well cushioned, so it does add a little bit of comfort to your run experience. So let's turn now and we'll take a look at the midsole and check out all that fresh foam X material that you have here. And according to Running Warehouse, they have 34 millimeter stack height in the heel and 24 millimeters in the forefoot for a 10 millimeter offset from the heel to the toe. Now this is soft. It's springy. I wouldn't say that it's bouncy like it's big brother, the 1080 V11, which is a maximum cushioned uh, daily trainer. This is not a maximum cushioned daily trainer, but they did find a really nice balance between that soft cushioned ride that you want and the nice energy return that you need to get you through your gait cycle. Now this midsole design is not an aggressive rocker at all. I would say it's more of a classic running shoe, but they do have a slight bevel in the heel on the lateral side of the shoe. So if I turn, I think we can see it best this way. Now that just adds to a nice natural feeling as you flow through your foot strike through to your toe off. I think it gives you a nice smooth ride. Aiding in the feeling of stability on the medial side of the shoe or the arch side, I do feel like that that Fresh Foam X midsole material is helping to slow my pronation some. Now again, I, I need to stress that this is a neutral road shoe. It's not a stability shoe. But one of the features I pointed out earlier was the structure in the heel, and then another was that plastic heel clip that comes around. And then this is another piece to me that it seems like it's just adding a little bit of stability to my overall run experience. And it's helping to slow, or feels like it's helping to slow my pronation uh, from an inward roll on my heel. And as somebody that overpronates, I do appreciate that. And it makes for a much more comfortable ride for me. So let's flip these shoes over and we'll take a look at the outsole. See how they're protecting all that soft Fresh From X midsole material. In here, you can see that they have a ton of blown rubber here all the way around in the heel and those high abrasion areas up through to the forefoot, right up through to your toe off. It is covered in rubber and it's pretty thick as well. So it not only adds some durability, so that Fresh Foam X midsole material is going to last a long time, but it also gives you a bit of traction. So when you're out running, and I've had these out on pavement as well as some hard packed dirt trails and things of that nature, and they've done a good job in helping me feel secure when I've been out running. Also, as I zoom in on that material, we can see that they have some flex grooves there. And because it's so thick, I think it's really important to add those flex grooves just to make it a little bit easier as you roll through your gait cycle so that it doesn't feel quite so restricted. And I didn't have any issues with that at all. And I think it's a big part of that is having those flex grooves to help make me feel a little bit more natural as I roll through my gait cycle. Overall, I found these shoes to be really comfortable to run in. The upper, that jacquard mesh material is so comfortable on the foot. It does run a little bit warm, but beyond that, 
don't have any complaints. It has lots of padding to help keep you comfortable when you're out running so you don't have any issues of hot spots or anything along those lines. My heel felt secure and locked in place. And I think the midsole material is a nice blend between that spring energy return and cushion that you're looking for to put loads of miles on really comfortably. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.